as India moved towards providing precaution doses for COVID vaccine for its high risk population, that is healthcare workers, frontline workers, and people over the age of 60 with comorbidities, we now have a fresh set of vaccines that will soon become available for those who are yet to get their vaccine doses. This week, along with approving Covaxin for children above the age of 12, India has also given emergency use authorization to two other vaccines, Corbivax and Covovax. I am Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print, and in this video, I explain what these vaccines are and how they are different from the ones that were already available in India. Corbivax was developed by Hyderabad-based biopharmaceutical firm Biological E Limited, the Baylor College of Medicine in the US, and US-based company Dynavax Technologies. This low-cost vaccine was developed at the Texas Children's Hospital Center for Vaccine Development. The use of traditional recombinant protein-based technology in Corbivax paves a way for its production at a larger scale, making it more accessible, and hence Corbivax is also being dubbed as the world's COVID-19 vaccine. Corbivax is what is known as a protein subunit vaccine. This means that it contains a protein of the coronavirus, which the body gets prepped to recognize and launch an immune response against. This is different from the vaccines like Covaxin, which contains the whole virus, but in an inactivated form. In the case of Corbivax, it is the receptor binding domain, a region of the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus that helps it infect the host cell. Corbivax uses a recombinant protein-based technology, a proven technology that has been in use since the 1980s. One example of such a vaccine is the hepatitis B vaccine. The technology involves using genetic engineering to insert a DNA code that allows a harmless microbe such as yeast to grow uh, the desired protein. In case of Corbivax, researchers have used the yeast Pisha pastoris to grow the receptor binding domain of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. The yeast does not cause a disease in humans, but the body learns to recognize the protein of the coronavirus. And if in future the body encounters the real virus, it will immediately recognize the receptor binding domain and launch an attack. Since unlike Covaxin, this vaccine only has a part of the virus, the vaccine also needs an adjuvant, which is something added to vaccines to make the immune response stronger. According to the researchers, two phase 3 clinical trials of Corbivax involving more than 3,000 people showed that the vaccine is safe and effective and that it has an efficacy of over 90%, although the results from the trials are yet to be published in a peer-reviewed journal. The other vaccine which was approved by India recently is Covovax, which is also a recombinant protein-based COVID-19 vaccine. To develop the vaccine, researchers selected a part of the genetic sequence of the virus that produces the spike protein. This sequence was then introduced to baculoviruses, pathogens that attack insects. So the difference is that instead of using yeast, this vaccine uses baculoviruses. These modified baculoviruses were then made to infect moth cells in the lab so that the cells produce proteins that are similar to the structure of the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. These proteins are then purified and administered with an adjuvant, a solution that enhances the ability of vaccines to work, called Matrix M. Like all vaccines, this vaccine too tricks the immune system into believing that it is under attack from the real virus. Covovax has been developed by the US-based company Novavax and will be produced by Pune-based Serum Institute of India. Along with the two new vaccines, India has also approved molnupiravir, an antiviral that can treat people with mild and moderate COVID disease. 13 companies in India are set to manufacture this drug, including Cipla and Dr. Reddy's. This is Mohana Basu for The Print. Do follow us on social media platforms for the latest news updates.